the first thing that we're gonna do some vertical chrome ombre and then the other fingers uh, we're gonna do some white ombre over gold flakes and then we'll do a different design on top of that so let's start it with this one first mm, you should pin your website and stuff for you oh yes thank you All right, now I have myself a black nail so that I'm gonna put top coat on so I can put chrome on this. So I'm choosing this top coat. This is a shiny top coat from Way Gel. It's a no white top coat. The reason why I didn't use shine it because shine it is a hot gel. I only use it to protect the chrome, not to adhere it. Slow down, slow down, you're all going to, everybody's not even situated yet. <laughs> you haven't said hi to anyone, you don't know how life is, haven't talked to anybody for three or four days. How's life, everyone? Yeah, got questions and stuff already. Ooh. Like, like one wants to know, can we show a look Cute. for the bright season? Oh. You know, mm. things like that. It has to be okay, Bride okay. of Frankenstein. Well, I mean, uh, we can we can chew a pastel look for prices well, season. Season. for like a far pride, like a oh, far pride. Yeah, right. Oh, don't tell me there's a bride season every season. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Hello, it's me, Mickey. So I'm killing that uh, top coat for so, sixty seconds. What are we doing today? Today we're doing fall. We're gonna fall. do a few fall sets. Mm -hmm. A few fall sets. Yes. So this is the first set that we're gonna do. So this is the first thing you're gonna mm -hmm. show them how to do. Yes. Okay, because. So I have black on and then I have no white top coat on. So now I'm gonna chew a red chrome. This is a chrome I'm gonna be using, this red chrome. And then I'm gonna choose a coral chrome. Hi, kitty. Oh, oh see. I know, now everyone is waking up now. All right. So I'm taking the shadow applicators and I'm starting on half of this side. And then, in the middle, let me go ahead and finish the whole thing first. Now, when it comes to the middle, you have to be very careful. Because you cannot cross it too much. You have to keep the good balance. So you start dapping this. Oh my goodness, honey. You see what happened? Lightly. They screamed, lured me into the kitchen to get some bribery food. Came back, this one stole my chair. Wow. What am I gonna do? How about we just get you guys? Is that Bonnie or is it Clyde? It's Clyde. Clyde? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, we don't care much for Clyde. Yeah. We don't really like Bonnie. No, Clyde did it like, like Throw him out of the chair. Gear do. They always send the dough first. All right. All right, now I'm gonna flip this shadow applicator to the other side. And I'm going to pick up some coral chrome and I'm going to start by dapping along this side. Okay, look, I'm going to get you guys this chair. Okay, and then I'm going to flip over and dap the red too. So it's all both even. And then I'm going to run down lightly with the red side and then I'm gonna flip it over and run down lightly with the coral unicorn side. 
Look at how flawless and beautiful this is. Now, I'll go ahead and apply on the rest of the nails and dust it. Now you don't top coat or doing anything to it. You go ahead and use metal effect gel. So I'm gonna take this out. This is what we're gonna use. This can adhere chrome instantly also. So because at this point if we use a regular black polish to paint the tip, that means we have to put on a top coat on top of that. And that's too much layer. We don't want that. So, we take a little bit of uh, black metal effect out. See, somebody said, I just finished my client, and someone sent me like He just started. Mm-hmm. And I know it may look like he did a lot, but no. So tell, tell them what you did, honey. Oh, they can rewatch it. Um, what I did so far is very simple. Uh, what I did is I uh, colored the whole nail with black gel polish and then I uh, apply on a layer of no wipe top coat and then and just uh, put chrome on it. Now I'm gonna take metal effect gel. This is where the tricky part is. I'm gonna take black metal effect gel. I'm painting the tip on and then I'm gonna rub chrome directly on it. And it's not gonna stuck to the background because the background is already half chrome. It will only stuck to the black tip because I'm using black metal effect gel. And you will see the ombre process one more time in reverse. Okay, so that is a 10 millimeter that I'm using. Now I'm, I'm gonna use a filler brush to color in the rest. So this is a brush I'm using. It's called a filler brush. And it's a very small, tiny, flat brush. Just like the brush in the nail polish bottle. I'm taking this black metal effect gel and I run down. Make sure you don't apply it too thick. Oh, last night I stayed up really late. Jenny, uh, I think she's going to come on at 7. Someone wanted to know if you ever mess up. If I ever mess up? Mm, yeah, like a few times, yeah. But no one ever knows. Yes, I'm good at bluffing. I just tell people that that's how I originally think of it. Yes. Okay, now cure this. That is a full cure for 60 seconds. Uh, remember to apply it very thinly. Because you are applying on top of raw chrome. So you have to be careful. If you like too thick, it will be wrinkled. Which is fine. You can cover up with top coat. It will be fine. But it's nicer to make it not wrinkly. So that is metal effect that we use to adhere chrome. So we're here in 60 seconds right now and I'm gonna apply the same pattern, red and coral, but in reverse. So I'm taking coral out, I'm taking red out. Yeah, you know, went in a great designing mode yesterday. Yes, and last come night. out with some cool design. It goes in that mode, you just gotta go with it. I'm so excited for the. I'm so glad that I did the video for the vertical ombre. Oh my god, it gets so much attention. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna start from this side. Paint it some red. Okay.
Now, on here, I dab it very lightly. See that? So I do the same to the other side. I rub coral, unicorn coral, and then I dab it lightly. This is, I believe, this is number four, coral. You should have all five shades of unicorn chrome. This is my favorite shade. This is number four. So I flip it back and forth. And then lightly run down to blend it. Mm-hmm. Easy breezy. Oh yeah. E that's the most easy thing ever. It's immediately get uh created the moment that I use pigment to do a uh, vertical ombre, it sent everyone into a frenzy. Now everyone start to use pigment now. You know, I wonder if I shift this line out and make it better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put matte top coat on. I don't know, ask the audience. Now, this is matted. This is what I'm gonna use. So shiny. Let's kiss this. I kiss it for 60 seconds. Then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the shiny on top because I kind of like this look too. It show contrast. I no longer need this, so I put this up. Next, I'm gonna do this. So, I need some gold flake out. This is a uh, white reverse French uh, ombre on top of gold flake. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this with some uh, sand it. Gonna take some sand it out. I will need a palette. This. Mm -hmm. Well, you haven't missed much. And then I will have my liner brush ready. Chrome have it clean. To my top coat. Yeah, you have to use a soft, soft, uh, no white top coat. Are you way gel top coat? Okay. So now, I take this, I apply some sanded, but not too, uh, uh, too close to the edge. Not too close to the edge. Mm -hmm. Will this be done again? Uh, no, because uh, you can rewatch it. Oh yes, it's our way, oh, our way full of information. Mm-hmm, this is the first set that we do. See, I don't apply too close to the edge because now I can go back and just slowly using a liner brush and just detailing the edge to make sure that it's nice and crisp. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you sound like you're eating. 
Mirror, mirror on the wall. What's that? What do you remember? You still have ice cream. In the freezer, yeah. Oh my god. I have to break my diet tonight. Just tonight. Well, here's the problem. What's that? Freezers are in the garage, and we have to somehow get past the guard dogs. Gosh. All right. So that is the is a ring finger. So that is a uh, index fingers. Uh, did you put Matt after Chrome? Um, after Chrome, I put Matt on everything, and then I put Sean on top. So next, we're gonna do the pinky. This is a pinky that we're gonna do. Pinky nail. Mm -hmm. So let's take out a clear nails. If you work on your client, you will need a clear foundation. Clear foundation. Mm -hmm. See through. If not, the natural nail will be fine, but clear will be prettier. Then you will need to take out some solid flakes. This is a flake that we're using. You can find it on the glit and glam section on tinovo.shop. I'm going to choose this side. And a filler brush. Filler brush. Yes. This filler brush that we're using. You see what happened? As soon as I jumped up, boom, they split into different chairs. Now we can take gold flake and some top coat. We dip it in top coat. And then we dip it in the flake. And apply it out here. Okay, okay. Uh, with a uh, color, como que, uh, el gold, oro. And you're not even gonna tell us what the hell that was? Okay. Oh, I just guess that, uh, I just see color, so I say gold. I'm not sure oro even gold or not, but I just guess. I guess my Spanish, just like my English, I guess all the way through. Guess the interpretation. Yes, and I just make up random word. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, you got another question mark. I, I knew it, I knew it. Uh-oh. I think she's wanting to know where the tips come from. Can't hardly hear Dustin. Oh, they cannot hear you, Dustin. <laughs> That's because the cat stole my chair, so I'm sitting on the ball. And down below. Okay. Sacrifice. They didn't want to curl up together for some reason. Get this. Oh, yeah. Hey, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hello. Meanwhile, we need to take a palette and we need to make a milky concoction. So, which shined it? I dump it out. I use Shandit instead of Matted because Shandit, it has an ability to make gel bleed. So, uh, in this milky concoction, I want it to be super smooth. I don't want any streak. So, that's why I use Shandit. Because then, when I add white polish in it, it will make the color bleed evenly. I add in two drops. Uh, I go for 50 50 first. Let me see. I'm gonna use an engraver, the mixers. To go ahead and mix this up. Oh, the touch is 
I don't remember, so hopefully it's early right now. Uh huh. You know, when it starts getting too late, it's like three and four in the morning. Right. Yeah. Because she can't get off. Okay. So let's see how opaque. Uh, let's see how see through it is. Okay, this is good enough. So now from here to here. Brushing it down. Okay. Now I have some non-clean top coat out. So I'm shining it out. I'm using an ombre brush. And what I'm doing is I'm wetting my ombre brush just a tad bit. So I can go down here and start brushing lightly. Just lightly. <clears throat> Touch Glamour says she couldn't uh, text too much this evening because uh, she's got to do her nails because she's going on vacation. Ooh. So that she can go to a different time zone so that she can catch you at the appropriate time and I have to stay up all night. Oh. Isn't that dedication? That is so sweet. Oh my God. The reason why I don't apply it all the way from the cuticle because after several layers, I don't want the cuticle to get thick. You don't want it to get thick? Mm-hmm. Now, uh, on here, I plan to put like a little fall leaf. And I think I'm gonna use pigment for that. Hey, Andrew Marie. Hello. Hello, Costa Rica. <coughs> so, I have a problem of sitting here watching you while you do it over your shoulder mm -hmm. and forgetting to read the comments. Yes. It's hard to not watch you do it. Now, I do need to level this because this uh, flake haven't been top coat or anything yet. So I do need to add on another layer of mat just to level it out. That way my ombre can be way smoother. Yes, cat claw, I agree. Okay, so now everything is nice and level. Then I'm gonna continue to ombre it. The white is milky white gel polish. Uh, no, I mix in a little bit of white gel polish with shine it because shine it a complete color. And I I want to make sure that I uh, use an ingredient that complete and blend color out very well. If not, then you see little streak of color, and I don't want to see little streak of color. So I use shine it to mix with white polish. So now I have a milky white consistency. But when I blend it out, see how the color is all nice and even down here. Hear this? Hello, Kiki. Hi, Kiki. Yes. Queen of Claw. Um, octopus. I don't know yet. Yes, and you know, uh, one of. Uh, a better way too is that if you take some 3D jelly and you mix it with a white polish so you can apply it really really thin and the coat is still gonna be nice and even
นน้ำแบบลาน from the top Do you sell stone gels to stick on nails? Um, later on, I would sell a glue to stick on nail. Now I'm just using a uh, 3D jelly to uh, stick it on, and I use um the sealer pen to secure it. That you can find on DreamTimeCreation.com. Now I'm I'm done with that, so I can get go ahead and take some white polish, and just finish up the top. See the top. Now all I need to do is take some white polish and apply it like this. And I just finish up the top. I just blend it the bottom down just a little bit. What about Chrome? Do you sell that too? Mm-hmm. It's on uh, www.tinovo.shop. It's in uh, art powder category. Art. Mm-hmm. Art. And you will. Find, or you can just type search and search for Chrome, and it will come up. Clear this. And I'm gonna put matte on the entire thing after I'm clearing this. But uh uh Felipe Bertro Trindade seven Felice Felice Petros Okay now I'm using matted all the way down Hear this. So, so you didn't call Jen? Did you call Jenny or text her earlier? Or? I thought her uh, come up at seven. Oh, seven. Mm -hmm. Her time or same phrase. You want to teach a little bit and get distracted. <laughs> Yes, I know, right? Now, you see this? I'm gonna reshape it just a little bit before I put on, sand it on just the bottom. Now, take some shine it out. Good evening, Chiggy. Hi. Look at this, Jiggy. Now, we're just going to ombre that top coat up just a tad bit. And then stop. Then you have it. Clean up the dust on the bottom of the nails. Cure this. Now we're gonna use white polish 
to paint some autumn leaves. Make sure you use the white polish that have a tacky residue layers. Now I use in the 10 <coughs> millimeter again. Gonna paint it some leaf. So let's start right here. Since uh, pigment doesn't stick on no white top coat, it's better to just start right here first. Gonna paint it. The leaf shape like this. And then have one more pointed out from both sides. And then in the bottom. Then two extension of the leaf on each side. See that? You can add it how uh, much ever leap possible. Let me see. I think I had like another one up here. So just a line. And then, see, there's not a lot of gel on my brush. Pointed this in so it's pointy. Drag it out and drag it back in. Same thing on each side. See that? It's a leaf shape. And then you just do two more on each side. That should be easy breezy, huh? Hmm? Easy breezy. And then two extension from each side. Okay, so I'll probably have some diamond right here. Diamond. I mean, I need probably just one more leap up here, and that's it. Me? Mm -hmm. Focus. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I didn't sleep a lot last night. Mm -hmm. But I got a lot done. Right. We both did. Here this. I'm gonna boost a bedazzle on these fingers. Hi, hi, Yali. Cure this too for 60 seconds just to make sure that it's a full cure. And let's yield um, orange and yellow pigment.
By the way, guys, when you guys purchase, it's gonna come in the box like this. And you just take take everything off and put it in a tray or something. Uh, I just have this form because I, I did not sell it though. I did not sell this form. I just have it. Later on, I might consider uh, tracking it down, how to get it and sell it. Because that is a cool thing to have. It just, uh, Pigment doesn't come in that. I just put it in that. Oh, squiggly, honey. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Alright, now, I already finished killing this. So, I'm getting this pigment brush. Which, uh, remember that I tell you last week about the vertical ombre that you desperately need this brush because of the side. You can use the narrow side of the brush, not the fat side, just the narrow side of it. Okay, we got a question. What's that? What colors did you use for the vertical ombre under the chrome? Under the chrome black. Okay, now take can this coral pigment start to dust out on the edge first just like that leave this on, same on this side too. Now orange, I'm gonna use a very light orange over here to further blend in to the meadows of the leaf but not all the way I still leave a little bit in the middle just so if I want I can put some yellow in just to make it pop pop honey pop like a jelly pop okay now I'm gonna get some yellow this is a pretty bright yellow, almost like a highlight. So I'm going to mix just a little bit of orange just to make sure it's not too dramatic. And also blend in just a little bit, not much. Here too, same thing, just a little, just a touch, just a light touch. All right, now this is off. I'm gonna put some gold stone on here too, probably. Hey, Jenny's on, honey. Yeah. Oh, Jenny's on. Hi, Jenny. Oh, she says, sorry, I was too busy. I <gasps> had more important things to do <gasps> first before I could <gasps> you and your kind. Oh, how dare you? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> and then she went right to hi everyone else. Oh my God, I use a feel of brush for this. That is important. I'm gonna put mad on just a leaf. Just because I want everything else to not be mad. And, and late, she said she's late. I, th I thought she was early. You said so. You said we wasn't gonna have to deal with her until seven o'clock. I thought you said. Right. Yeah. Should we act like we didn't see her? We should. We should pretend like we didn't see her. Okay. Uh, what time is your live start on Wednesday? On Wednesday at six. See that? That's the mat that leap right there. How beautiful. It stand up against the shiny background. Mm. 
Ain't great now. Ah, so some in the bottom. Yes. What Jenny just said. She just said, you just keep painting, focus on what you're doing. I'll just read you what she said. <clears throat> she said uh, she was going to teach some artwork and stuff on another channel and wanted everybody to come watch her <gasps> instead of you. Oh, oh my God. How conniving. <sighs> Can't believe it. Okay, so now we have this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some detail if you want, some black detail for the lip vein if you want to. If I do that, I'd rather get the black metal effect because you don't, you, you now don't have to top coat this. So I'm get the black metal effect out. I'm using the line of uh, brush, 10 millimeters. Before that, was you using the filler brush or? Before that, was a filler brush okay. for the matte. And then somebody asked a question about with matte or top coat or something about matte over top coat. Yes, you can do matte, use matte over top coat. So you can do that if you choose to. If not, you don't have to. I think it's pretty without a vein too. Mm hmm You can draw the lip vein if you like. If not, you don't have to. That is very thin. Mm hmm Tomorrow I release another video on uh, vertical ombre. But this time I'm doing cappuccino. Cappuccino? Mm -hmm. Hear this? And this one I want to boost uh, some opal diamond on. Let me uh, see if I have any orange related colors. Orange related. So they want to know. Um, If you can show them how to keep the line so thin. Make the line of the brush. Uh, just barely touch it with the tip of your brush. Don't no, use too much pressure. How, how much stuff should they... We'll wait till he's done digging through all the rhinestones. <laughs> Now, we're gonna bed out of this one. We were heard. So, I'm gonna use a crystal magic glue, which will be sell later on. And I'm gonna take out some crystals. <laughs> so now I'm gonna. Does the mat help too on. with the drawing of the line? The mat, yes. The mat is very important. Well, you sit down awful. Mm hmm. It's, it's extremely important. For chrome, it was red, gold, green, blue. Sorry, I missed that part. Mm, coral, unicorn coral. Unicorn coral? Mm hmm. Number four. Well, Jenny just disappeared on it. 
She probably busy. Putting on makeup. Or yes, try to beautify herself. Right. Yes. She's probably dealing with the grandkids. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go. Resurface. She probably resurfacing. Right. Another stone right here. some gold beat. Okay, so I'm gonna use some gold beat right here. Put it at the end. Actually, this one too big. Is it asleep? No, I tricked it outside with food. Oh. Yeah, I threw a couple of toys to feet when they weren't paying attention. Oh, so the right toys right. perk up from the empty food bowl. All so right. took over the toys, realized, hey, this might be fun, and entertain themselves outside because wow. the sun's going down and it's not that hot. I want to please, please see the octopus so badly. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I do want some uh, more beat work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the dip and activator and apply on this. When you put dip and activator on glue, um, some of it. Sometimes it might give you an ability to freeze it instantly so you don't have to wait for it to dry. Now I'm gonna use 3D jelly. This is what I'm gonna uh, use. And a liner brush. I'm gonna draw line around the stone. Honey, when you put the activator on the gemstones, mm -hmm. does it ruin the shininess? Uh, no. Maybe with uh, Chinese crystal. But not with Dreamtime crystal. You can even add, uh, put a stone directly on it. No. Mm -hmm. See, <clears throat> I think all you ladies have good work. I'm gonna cure this. And at least good enough for the potential to, to, to where you, with, with some of the simplified tricks, you're going to be just as good, if not gooder than Tino. You're like gooder mm -hmm. than you. Gooder. <laughs> you're gooder than Tino. Now I'm going to keep stacking these on. I'm going to use a very thin brush to do this. The brush that I'm going to use is um a 10 millimeters. And that's why you can only pick up like one or two 
bit at a time. Cause if you bake up a whole bunch, that's gonna waste a lot more time at ranching it. So I only pick up one at a time. Using a 10 millimeter brush. Mm. Can you could have said, uh, said I can draw the designs on the paper, but she has problems with the nail, sizing onto the nail. Uh -huh. Do you think maybe by drawing it out first like that, if, okay, the question, Candy, I guess would be, are you drawing it on paper the same size as the nail you'd be putting it on? Because if you're drawing it bigger than that, then I, I feel like mentally somehow you're, you're messing with yourself before you start, if that makes sense. So I guess to draw it out first, you kind of want to do it by scale, right? Honey? Yes. Ooh, honey, quickly, you got a scooter. My longer stripping brushes seem to get stiff. I was told you can put them in super hot water. They will, will relax. Has anyone done that? Yes. That is correct. But not like boiling crazy hot. Just, just hot. It's okay. Just like hot like me. It's okay. Hot like you. Right. <laughs> No, we should be getting coconut water tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. And then maybe the next day after that? Yes. Today we have to drink that peasant Aklan waters. Oh. But tomorrow we'll be coconut water peoples. I just don't like the label on there, but it makes me feel so good. I know. Adjust this. Just like this. Maybe I need one more. Up here. Chrome, chrome is stick to no wipe. Chrome and pigment are totally different. Pigment is stick to matte or gel polish and chrome stick to no wipe. Is that what the question is? I think so. If not, they shall clarify. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need one more, really big one. Let me see. 
may be a rain raindrop. A raindrop. Mm-hmm. Well, you could have said train stop. Which normally wouldn't sound wicked, but we can't say that there wasn't a miniature Eiffel Tower on some shit yesterday, so I don't feel like I know. a train stop would be out of the question. Of course, there'd have to be a lady with some kind of trench coat and a red umbrella. Ooh, I like the look of it. Do you like the look of it, Dustin? Mm-hmm. I do. I feel like this is definitely need some bread. You know, I should have put some bread in here. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like you slid a little. Well, I, well, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Well. I should have some bread. And really, you could have a couple more stones away from having like a lock, lock key. This right here is Lysa I am. I would prefer Scarlet, but Lysa I am would do. So probably a, a few little lice I am over here. I know it. I know it. What's that? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna let him in. Okay, let them in. Let the monster in. Yes. Go go on, go on, go on. Let them in. Before they go crazy. Just a touch. That completed. Actually, what completed is a few more gold beads. That will complete it. Now clear this, and I'm gonna put some bread on here too. How do you, you how do you view lives again? You just click on it. It's on my page. It's on his page. Mm -hmm. It just have a lot of stuff. I have all kind of video on my page. You have to search through it. Through the abundant of design. Abundant. abundant. Mm -hmm. Can make an like a necklet pattern. You reading the question, doesn't it? No, the dogs are getting all water. Come over and jump on you. Uh, I you uh, 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 is that glue? Yes, it's a crystal magic glue. We will have it available on the website later. We haven't have it available yet. You are welcome. Whoa, 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 
Yes, thank you. Okay. So now, I'm going to go ahead and wood it back to see what it looked like. I love it. I'm going to add some uh, gold stone over here. Do you need a top coat for pixie gel? No. No, pixie gel is um a completely no no wipe. You know, back in the uh, old day, uh, when you wanna do like a like let's say like a nude um matte nails, and you wanna put some glitter design on, you uh, have two choice. You either have to top coat the whole thing with shine, which uh give it no contrast. Or you have to trace top coat on each individual glitter line. Now you don't have to with pixie gel. You can just apply it directly on matte as a design or line work. And then when you cure it, you're done. You don't have to use top coat for pixie gel. Is the glue you're bringing out self-drying? Yes, it is. It is. But you can also apply it... Um, some dip activator on it to freeze it instantly at your choosing time or else it will dry uh, on 30 seconds. This one looks slippery. The what now? Yes. Very short lived. I love it. Let me see. That's beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, okay. okay. So later on, I'll put some more crystal on here. So this is the first set. I'm going to do another set. For gold bead, I suggest to use a um, builder gel, but not too thick. Um, using a liner brush, ten millimeter is a must. If you use a bigger brush, well, you have a hard time picking up one one the bead one at a time. Now, sometimes I've seen you roll out some and mix it with mm -hmm. gel and coat them all. This is a very good one because it's not too thick. It's just enough so you can apply a thin line with a liner brush. Oh, wow. Ooh, that sounds rough. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put it up and make another one. Good, good night, love. World it's Beach pretty. Ball. I like this. Okay, so the next one. I want to make is I want to make some colorful ombre Ooh. style colorful ombre um, also it's a vertical ombre but multi vertical ombre 
with uh, a white ombre over it. And then I'm gonna make some sunflower pattern. So, octopus. Octopus. Did you did you promise an octopus at some point? In this? Yeah, I have it right up. I have octopus right down. Okay. okay. See this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you an ombre first. <laughs> 